What's going on, Tiger Tran Clan? Today we're coming at you with a new game called Settlements. And it's a base builder defense game in the apocalypse where basically these roots have taken over the world and you're attempting to survive and move from the Stone Age all the way, I want to say Space Age? I, I don't know what the, the final age of the game is. I, I played one, well, I played one game, and I've gotten to the third age, which you start off in the first age, so it's not saying <laughs> much. It, it probably took me a good, I want to say four hours, maybe, to get there. So it it's definitely a challenging game, time-consuming game, but it's definitely fun along the way as well. But I thought I'd kick off a new one on the higher level difficulty and give you guys kind of a tour of the game, but as well as enjoy playing it together. So, welcome to Settlements. Your family has lived its life just like everyone else, hiding in a cave, lighting a fire at night to keep predators away, and eating berries for dinner. The world is covered in a thick bramble that makes it impossible to move more than a few people, or impossible for more than a few people to live in one place. So you spend your days walking the pathways, visiting your neighbors when time allows. Divide me. Was it always like this? Not far as the tales are told. Out in the bramble, there are some strange ruins said to have come from a time before. No one knows how long ago, but what is known is the language passed down to you now is the language of the ancients. Time for your story to begin. Looking for fresh goods, you venture far from your regular past to behold a sight that you've never seen. A huge field. Yes, a piece of land free of bramble, large enough for to settle many families. Such things are unheard of, and you spent some time walking nearby, thinking what to do about this finding, when you come across a second large area free of bramble. One is amazed to his fate or one is amazing to his fate. You decide you must act, sending out word to all, inviting families to come and settle and make a community like one another. And that starts the game out. So I know the game pretty dang well at this point. Let's make sure that it is truly set to hard. It is. And let's pop back. So the first thing you do is you gotta get some shacks rolling because shacks are your basic building for your people. People come, they live here. What's nice about the shack is when the people come, they basically build their own house. In the future, other buildings require people to actually build them and resources to build them as well. So it definitely changes the way the game works. <clears throat> so let's hit speed three while these bad boys build. But there's a lot of resource management, which is the kind of game I really enjoy. Congratulations. Thank you. So what I like to do is I, I like to use this primary facility to be my wood cutting, stone cutting, and that was the wrong one. Gathering. Obviously wood, stone, and this gives you your early food resource. So from here, we're just going to throw people on to just start getting infrastructure up and online. So here, we're going to have our crafter, we're going to have our research, and I guess really dependent on what resource we might need. This really doesn't cost anything, so let's just grab this person for now. By this person, I mean we'll get more lumber. Lumber is used pretty hardcore in this game. Uh, you use it to power your smelting. You use it to upgrade your houses. You use it for a lot, and it's a resource that sticks with you for a lot of the game. Almost all of it, probably. I'm trying to think if there is a time when maybe you have to burn coal because this is the ages I was telling you about. You start in the Stone Age. Okay. Yeah, food is key. So food is what you use to research. You also use it to heal yourselves in combat. Oh, this person has amazing stamina. We make a good warrior, but we're not actually going to set up warriors quite yet. We will just have these guys bop over here and finish building this up. This person's got really good stamina as well. So strength is for chopping down trees. This person has five stamina, which is max stamina. So we're going to put her over here. That is a weird name. 
Thompson. Uh, the first name L. Is it like Eloise? All right, let's check this. Oh, five strength. We're gonna put her over here. So to make the quarry, we needed two pieces of wood. So what she'll do is chop this wood down. That's why this thing didn't build. So let's take a look over here. Good intellect, that's good for us. That is what you need to craft and also do research. This person is not so smart. So where's our third person? Ooh, this person's strong. So we're gonna send her over here back to dawn and we're gonna hope that one of these people Ooh, there we go another really smart person because the glades because research and crafting is an intelligence based skill so from here yeah you're good you are so dumb so we're gonna put you over here at least for now and now at this point we just gotta we just gotta slap some resources together so you'll start to see things will auto populate up here we've got four food which is good we're starting to build some food sur surpluses because that's what we need to use to research as said earlier oh my goodness it's gonna take a while i don't know if they started us off with any items nope we get the fat goose egg of items All right, so we're gonna throw you back over here because you have high strength. And so stone and wood early on, you need a boatload of it just to get your basic buildings online. So that's what we're gonna focus on. We're gonna focus on wood because wood is used a lot more than stone. A lot of times I end up breaking down my stone mine just because you, you get such a surplus because you can only have a maximum, you see it right now, our, base tops out at 10 which is pretty brutally low but in the town center is where you can do upgrades so one of the first ones you can get is to increase storage and i like doing this but we'll probably wait a second uh actually no we're not we're going to do it now because our food is capped out anyways so we'll start building some infrastructure here all right i like weapons off the bat so let's uh actually because we're not even going to send out warriors, because we have people just literally doing our infrastructure, we're going to do world research until we can get... We're going to do our, excuse me, not world research, that's something different. We're going to do house research here. This is basically teching up our tech tree, so that way we can... I'll show you real quick. You get world skills. So maybe it is a world skill. Yeah, it's a world skill of houses. So let's take a look here. Oh, tools. Definitely need a boatload of tools. So while we're slapping out some goods... Oh, dang, we rocked rock through our food already. All right. So what we'll do is we'll throw her up here as one of the resources starts to get kind of capped out. Because she's already put all this... Yeah, she already put all the wood in here. Wow. Impressive. This would probably be the place to actually upgrade first from a storage perspective because this person is our one of our weaker people. But this increases storage, this gives you defense. These we're gonna wait because we don't want the era to advance, but healing bonus. This is like spikus uh, to help protect and, re and repair. I don't know how that exactly works, but buckets to increase supply, which means people can get their resources. So basically it takes supply for these goods. Like she's walking with her bare hands now, but if you had a bucket or a wheelbarrow, this makes it so this bar goes up faster. Your skill, her, so if we look at her skill right now, she's already got one star in research. That makes it so that this bar goes up on the side once they have all the the components necessary to actually do it so now she's researching and what we're trying to do is we're trying to get closer to the point to where we can unlock this Ooh, and we already can nice you so we're going to bring this back to one so she'll get done researching this because we already invested and we really wanted to get log cabins first because with log cabins what you can do is you get more people 
So instead of having just three people here, this will upgrade and it'll have two folks that can live there. And it just allows you to actually start differentiating more and getting some warriors and getting some scouts. So that way you can kind of start expanding the base. Man, stone is an issue. Stone is so low. We're just going to have Karis grab slap away at some stone as well because stone and wood are strength. It tells you... It tells you somewhere. I can't remember where it is. Oh, it's in here. That's right. So if you click on it, it'll tell you what the skill is. Strength. And then it tells you right here. And it tells you that what would it do? Your higher your, your skill is, basically more wood you can get faster. As well as, you know, stone cutting. Same kind of theory. So at this point, let's figure out what is our limiting reagent stone, right? So this person's just so buff. Ooh, we even got a, a nice quality tool on this. We got a lot of tools. So let's start throwing these on here for now. And, you know, to be honest, we're going to have you chill for a second and shift to. Do we want clubs? Do we want clubs? What I really want are some shields. Because what I usually start off with shields, spears for my first wave of guys because the spear is the highest damage weapon that you can make early on. The club isn't necessarily a bad weapon. It's just, it does less damage. It can stun, which is a pretty cool effect. Because if you stun someone, then everybody lands their hits. And you can, I think they, I don't know if it lands for max damage, but I think it might. Because I know whenever I've gotten stunned, man, they just start slapping you. Oh, I'm a new... Wait, production. I don't think this production makes research go up. Because you get these research books later on. But I'm not 100% sure. Think that's the one thing about this game. Yeah, see, research is its own skill. That's why I was... So, per production increases the speed that resources are gathered and items are crafted. So, this is good for here. It doesn't do anything. So let's just take this off. The baskets, though, those are good. Oh, yeah, you can't unequip. You have to right-click on this screen to actually take stuff off of people. All right. So she is upgrading here. Stone is looking good. We actually need lumber, so let's throw you back here. Yeah, food is good. Sweet. All right, so from here... You know what? Storage is fantastic and needed, but let's. What do we want? Let's let's do here first. So we're going to focus on upgrading these houses. We do need these mines in the future. Just not right now. What do we do? We want to research. Let's get spiders going. And then for you, I would love for you to start. Let's just build some multis I don't like that you have to go into this screen to do the multis I mean it's not that huge of a deal but I just don't like it so let's let's just prep four and then from here we'll grab oh we can make axes as well axes are good they they do uh what is hack is that critical I don't know exactly what hack does I know what the other items do this stuns Spears make someone bleed. Maybe we should get baskets. Let's get baskets, actually. And then for you... Love you more. Perfect. And then now we'll have enough goods to start to armor up our crew of flunkies. It's really important to have everybody have armor and weapons. Not so much early in the first two ages, because they give you a little bit of buffer before they start attacking you. But in the third age, uh, you get attacked if you're not clearing out. There's like these raiding camps is what they're they're called. All right, so from here, we're maxed out on food. So let's go ahead and throw you in here. You start building. I'm surprised. Food is a surplus, but maybe it's because we filled up this hermit hut so quickly. I'd love to get some baskets online because that makes it so you can supply faster, which means you can research faster and build faster, which is muy importante. We're about to get our first house online, so then you'll see uh, another person pop up. 
So we are going to take these two folks and throw them in here. I'm kind of interested to see the stats of this new person. High intellect. Wow. Five intellect. Dang. What's your intellect? Four. What's your intellect? Four. So the question becomes is what you can do is you can actually have this person be helping. And this is really good because then you're building, you know, goods faster. Uh, I do want to get the houses online, though. That's my priority right now. We're going to dump all of our wood into getting houses faster. And since we don't need stone at this moment in time, we are going to throw all these folks on lumber. Now, the, the danger becomes is, like, if you're building two houses at the same time, you're splitting your wood surplus. But, no, it's okay. They, built, they took it all here first. Maybe the game is smart enough to know that... You know, if multiple buildings need wood, whatever one you clicked first, maybe that's where they dedicate bringing the lumber. I'm not 100% sure. Let's test the theory. We're going to try to upgrade this one. And we'll throw these people here. Honestly, we're using our lumber to make shields. and This just isn't necessarily a huge priority right now. I'd love to be able to use our stone, really. I guess we could make two spears, maybe? See, this is where I was talking about the damage difference. 3 to 8 versus 5 to 10. Just a drastic difference. See, this one's like 4 to 9. So sad. That's why I usually go with the spears early. This is your ranged weapon, the throwing spears. It does buns damage, but important to get for defense. Because if, basically in combat, there's a front line and a back line. And it'll make more sense once we get into combat. It'll happen sooner than you think. So from here, let's get, let's do some iron research. What this will do is it'll allow us to, oh, that's right. A lot of times I, so we're going to put you back here and we're going to have you come this way. I had two researchers, but kind of overkill, unfortunately. Oh, oh my God, we're down here. All right, let's check stats real quick. Strength, very, oh my gosh, another five enter. My goodness. This guy also has a really good strength. But man, what about you? You bun strength. Did you have, you bun strength as well. What about you? Three strength, not bad. Throw you on the bumper. Three strength again, five int. Oh my God. four decks. So this person will be a scout. So my scouts will have... I usually do this, even though it's, it'll end up saying medic, but I usually do blue as my scouts. But usually I also give my... Well, no. I usually make them skulls, and then I... And I usually give them a range weapon, because dex is range skill. So this is going to be our scout. Let's see. We don't have... We do have shields. And I think I'm going to have her start scouting, even though it might put her in a precarious situation. We need to make her a weapon. But like, let's. what I like to search for first is items and skills. What that does is it gives us skill books, which can increase our skills, so it makes us get resources, craft better, research faster, all that good stuff. So I know you've got three strength. You've got five, four strength. Dang. How much is your stamina? Pretty buns. What's your dex at? Pretty bad. What's your dex at, too? I don't know what our roles were just. Oh my gosh, this guy's got four dex. All right, so what this will do is. Because he has four dex, we're just going to dump. We'll dump. Ugh, I hate that we're doing this right now, but. Nah, it's only one stat. We can always buy our point later on. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this guy another scout. Okay, so researching baskets, this would be good. You go ahead and start scouting. Because we need to find some buildings. Alright, from here, we're going to start to... Or continue to build. Man, they're just giving us all these int people. So this is going to be a frontliner. And she's a decent frontliner. So we're going to give her the two... I basically try to give the, the the rank based on how good they are. Unfortunately, the arrows are so small on the send-out screen that 
it kind of doesn't matter so you really can't tell but i do want some and what i usually do with them and we're gonna wait until we get all these houses built is i usually send them out to scout early on in the game as well later on when you're getting attacked you usually want to keep them as guards basically there's these guard posts that will pop up here and that helps you defend against the raiding marauders that are these guys right here so from here let's make sure we get some spears online so we're gonna make two spears because we have two well we got four people thus far but mm, i've changed my mind so we're gonna make four spears and then from here we also want armor so let's go ahead and we'll make four armors as well and those people will be kind of the backbone of our attack crew Okay, so from here, let's just take a look. One last house to build, so let's do that. Please be a great warrior. Man, sometimes you get like the five star, oh, this person's, ooh, this person's pretty decent. Could be a good scout, but has three strength as well as decent stamina, so I'm gonna make this person a frontliner. If it was like four strength, four stamina, I probably would've put them at the three rank. It's kind of just the way I kind of think about it. So this is going to be another one of our frontliners. He will, could be a scout. We need one more person actually slamming rocks. So maybe you will be my rock slammer. Yeah, I think so. Let's put you here for now. So then I for here, I just kind of try to pick something that kind of looks like their job. So this looks like rocks. This is the open field with the trees that you'd be chopping down. This person's a farmer, so I use this one, even though it says medic. And then these are my crafters, so I use this hot iron looking thing. It looks like some smelting is going on. This person's smart, so we use we use this diamond looking enlightenment and once again you're a wood chopper because what ends up happening is their skills are going up so you do want them to repeat the jobs that they're doing because that means they are more effective so let's just keep on scouting here oh yeah i forgot about there's a good trick to do is if you make them frontliners i'm gonna slow the game down real quick put you back on stone because we're ripping through it <laughs> what the heck range person though gosh you're so dang smart all right let's check out the stats on this strength is buns but stamina is good right it's pretty similar to what you had gosh actually all right so it's not what it, ideally what i like doing but it's early enough to where they haven't researched enough to where i feel like it's gonna hurt us that bad Hey, where'd our person go? Why don't you go over to the glades? And then... What the heck? Stop poning me, please. Alright. So let's put you guys back in the houses. Let me figure out where our boy went. Oh, he went up here. Alright, so you are no longer one of our range specialists. You will become enlightened. And we'll just put the base thing. All right, and then you have stamina and strength, but it's not great. Ugh, you're like a one. I mean, the stamina is good, but man. And then we'll take the background. Put him back as being a warrior. Not the greatest stats. Once again, we can use our gold to improve that, so it's not horrible. So now what I like to do is I like to, if you put these people as frontliners, which nice is it pulls them up towards the top, which is very useful. These guys aren't gonna take damage, so I want them to default onto a build job. Just in case, you know, there's gonna be downtime and there's a lot of things to micromanage. Oh. We don't have supply baskets quite. We're doing really good on wood, so let's do this for now. And then from here, we'll bop back. The most effective way I found a scout is just to use this menu here. 
See, it won't pull them on to the scout menu, unfortunately, because they're doing a job. If they're at home or if they were down here in unallocated workforce, it would. And we will just have these guys scout. And when they come back, they'll finish this bad boy up for us, which would be nice. And then she's already working. So we are using a lot of lumber to build our armor, which is fine. So we must have finished our spears, which is good. The question is, is do I want to get those ranged weapons right now? Oh yeah, we can see them right up here. I don't know. Let's make sure you guys all got some axes. Kind of look like axes. Stone tools. It's also because some of our warriors went out with their tools. So we'll get those back when they come back. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for this first episode. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I really do. Let me know in the comments. Uh, it's a new game. It's fun. Uh, it's given me a lot of joy and entertainment already. And I'm excited to take it with a higher difficulty and see where we can go. And how long we can survive. This has been Tiger Tran. And I'll see you guys next time.